94 to 96, and then we're just gonna go 96. I went to middle school there. When I went to school there, I was a total nerd. I used to get beat up. I used to have a paper route. People would knock my bike over. As a matter of fact, right down that street, I had a fight with a guy, Joel D. Piazza. He threw really? snowballs at me. He knocked me off my bike. My papers went everywhere. And I was so angry, I punched him. But he was a boxer. And I punched him in the back of the head. <laughs> like in the hardest part of the skull. Hey, you can't throw my papers! And I hit him. And I remember, it's ingrained in my head, that he looked at me with these stony eyes and he says, did you just hit me in the back of the head? Like, he was so confused, like, <laughs> like, because kind of that's not allowed in boxing. Like Did you just hit me in, in the back of my head? <laughs> so then he started fighting me quickly. He got me in headlock, and the guy, car, car came up. Oh, you kids, you can't, and everybody dispersed. And from that point on, I was kind of like skittish around him. Yeah. Fast forward 20 years or so, <laughs> I saw him at Shores Inn, a local pub, and he came up to me, and he's like, Matt, I was a real jerk when I was younger. I'm sorry about that. Do you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a nice guy. That's I like cool. Him. You're a good guy, Joel. You weren't back then, but you're a good guy now. So where are we going, Becco? Going up to uh, Brooklyn, not New York, but Brooklyn, Michigan, to look at beds for the girls. Okay. What did you get? Got a loft, a couple of loft beds and some nice mattresses. It's about two hours there. Two hour drive, yeah. They needed some muscle. Yeah. yeah. So the muscle in the back isn't working. I'm broken. So it's so it's <laughs> muscle, sister and brother. <laughs> I'm uh I'm sec second second stream muscle. Second stream muscle. neighborhood. America. Oh, awesome. It's kind of so, like your small box spring, but... Yeah, yeah just so it doesn't box get it too much. And you know what? I oh, it's super nice. They, they picked it up for 500 bucks. Good deal. Thanks, boss. <laughs> you yeah, I think so. The, the strap, but otherwise, I think it's going to be fine. I really don't think it's gonna, it's gonna be, I think it's tight enough. Slow and steady wins the race. Mm -hmm. Taking it easy. <laughs> Bed launches out of there. $500 out the door. So much for you. <laughs> Into somebody else's door is my worry. Princess, how are you? Oh, it's beautiful. That new bed's gonna be quite an upgrade for here. I'm gonna like it. Are you helping, Savannah? Vacuum after we take this stuff out. We'll vacuum real quick. Not on the wall, please. Easy, easy peasy. One, two, three, four. They're all. They're in there. Yeah, that's awesome. Wow, are you cold? No? We're basically still in winter. It's freezing cold. And Savannah here is running around with no pants on and no socks. If many parents in China were to witness a little child running around in the cold with no pants, they would be freaking out. I'm sure Annie would be freaking out. Put some clothes on that baby! staged out, ready to go. I'm gonna eat some pizza, great American lunch, get back to work. Ooh, what is this? Cheesy bread. Well, I mean, I will, I will have to get them by about 9.30 though. Okay. Yeah, we'll see, like I said, if you don't like Go check out Savannah. Wow. King of the mountain over there, queen of the mountain. Bed mountain. Wow, 
I think you got the top bunk. Victoria's too tall for her. Yeah. Yay! My bed! Excited? Yeah! Cool? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> Feel the memory foam. Do you like your beds? Yeah! <laughs> a little bit later, headed back to my dad's house. I'm in a battle with, with food here. It's so easy to put on weight in America. And this weight sticks to your bones. Those, uh, you know, stir-fried vegetables and rice things that you eat in China, they, they tend to fall off a little bit quicker. The weight that I have on me is just denser. Now tomorrow morning I'm gonna spend Sunday with my dad at church. I'm not a very religious guy. You guys might not know that. But my dad is very religious and at this point in time in his life it's coming in very handy to be able to uh, rely on your faith. I, I encourage my father in his, in his religiousness and uh, I will, I will uh, Company him to church tomorrow. I'm not sure how much I'll record, but uh, I'll probably take the camera. That should be nice. I'm headed home. I'm gonna wrap this one up. Oh, police. They got somebody. <laughs>